Hey there, welcome to Mastermind Gameplay. Behind me is an automated offloading cargo system connected to a bunch of refineries and H2O2 generators. All theoretically powered by these windmills, even though we're on creative mode. In here is your dock. It has a remote operation system, just in case things go a little wonky. And you have three connectors that will offload from our designated trailer, feed through the system, and these pistons will align our trailer to meet with the connector perfectly. This is all automated, so once a sensor goes off, it starts the process to read as the truck and trailer come through. This one over here stops you from being able to go any farther forward, and the side ones rotate inward in order to cause you to stay in one place. These are the three sensors at the top, and once everything is offloaded, it will go into our designated refineries. We have a refinery for basically every ore plus just generalized stone. Of course you need more than one for stone because you collect a lot of stone in this game. Magnesium, silver, cobalt, gold, uranium, maybe some platinum, and finally another stone refiner. These all have two yield modules and two efficiency modules. Up here, I've used a sorter on each refinery to delegate what they're actually going to refine. If you haven't used sorters before, they're pretty easy. You can either blacklist a bunch of stuff or whitelist. If you whitelist stuff, it means that's the only thing that's going to go through this refinery. In this case, I whitelisted cobalt ore. On the other ones, it's pretty much set up the same way, only with their own designated ore from this list. And then, as we follow this back, you can see every single one has a sorter on it. In our next section, we have the pipes leading up to the H2O2 system. There's a multitude of these generators themselves that split it up into hydrogen and oxygen and feed our tanks. This might not seem very important when you're playing uh, creative mode, but when you're in survival mode, it might actually be handy if you're trying to, say, oxygenate an empire or continuously run hydrogen generators. All of them are connected from the top. And these automatically interconnect. And that's about it. Okay, let's get back here so we can try out this automated offloader system. Almost there. If I move out of the way here, you'll be able to see the entirety of the structure. Here are your offload pistons and how the cargo tubes actually connect. And I like to keep things a little bit easy to see, so I kept the top glass in case you missed a step somewhere. Here, we have a bunch of windmills. Luckily, on this small moon, there is still enough atmosphere to use the windmills. And that's about it again. So over here, we're going to set ourselves up with a decent viewing of the truck and trailer coming through. And I am going to be remote piloting it. So if I go here, we'll go 
terminal, make sure everything is set up properly. All three sensors are standard off. And then I have this initiate sensor that is on. Hmm. I kind of want to show where the sensor leads to. So I should be able to adjust this. If you click on the initiate sensor or the sensor in general, make sure it says show on HUD. Go to your info tab, show sensors field range. Now you might be able to see it through this window. It's right at the very beginning. But we're just going to go ahead and grab our truck and drive through it. I have done a few modifications to the truck where the front end steering was a bit wonky and kept getting stuck, making it harder to steer. But since then, I have modified it and it should be available on the Steam Workshop. As we go through here, as soon as we get into position, a red light will go off and then we'll know when to stop. This initiates the entire process. You can see some of the other sensor lines coming on. And we're almost, oh, there it is. You can see that red glow. Initially, the front stopper holds you from going any farther forward, where the sides are going to put you directly center of this rail. There we are. And should be pretty center. The pistons automatically come down, turn on and lock. Once the chambers are empty for your cargo holders, they automatically turn off connectors and retract the pistons. And of course, once you're unlocked from the grid, this green light turns on telling that you are able to drive away. Yep, looks like it's empty. I originally started out with 5,000 kilograms in each one. Well, that's about it. If you want to know more about how I programmed and set this automated system up, just hit me up in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and hit me up in the comments, like I mentioned, if you want to know how to build the system yourself. I appreciate it.